Hello. Hi, I'm Michael, and this is Maker's Workshop. If you follow along with us on Instagram, then you know that we recently got this big laser from Laguna. And today we're gonna do our first project on it. We wanted to do something simple, but that was a complete project at the same time. We're going to make a COVID box for the car. We're from Massachusetts, and where we are, we need to wear masks when we go out in public. So this is just a dispenser of rubber gloves and masks so that we can have them all in one place and keep it tidy in the car. Let's get started. To make the design for the box, I used the Boxomatic app on my iPad. All you have to do is enter in the dimensions of your finished box, along with the other info like kerf of the laser and the thickness of your material. I split my box into two compartments and added a lid. It generated the SVG file for me, and then I airdropped it over to Lightburn on my computer. Now that I have the design in Lightburn, I just added a small cutout for the gloves to be taken out of in the lid, and then I just organized the pieces in a way that I feel I think visually it'll lay out on the sheets well. I loaded the acrylic onto the bed of the laser and then calibrated the height. Now that the laser is focused, we're just going to run the frame function so that we can make sure that the entire cut is going to be on the piece of acrylic. Clearly what we were going to cut in this batch is too big for the single sheet, so we're just going to separate it out and make it into two separate cuts. Splitting it into two cuts solved the issue, and I was able to get the design lined up and I fired away. The laser handled the first cut perfectly, so I knew I had my settings right and went ahead with the second cut. The acrylic has a thin paper adhesive on either side to protect from scratches. I removed this material from all of my pieces and then test fit the box. Once I was sure the design worked, I figured I would cut a second one while I was at it for Brooke. What color do you want? What color is that? Green apple, we have a solid green, solid blue, solid yellow. Green apple. Yeah, I want the green. Okay. So, wallet's loaded up. I'm just gonna cut out another set and then we'll go put them together. The laser makes it really easy to create multiples. The first version always takes the most time, but once the design and settings are honed in, it's a matter of loading in the material and pressing go. So we're all set up to glue and we're doing it in the living room today because the garage is a little bit cold. We're not in the normal shop because of COVID, so we're making do with what we have. So to put this together, we're gonna to be using an acrylic cement. We're just going to take it apart, add a little bit of this on each one of the box joints and then put it back together with some painter's tape to hold it and act as a clamp overnight. To put this together, I'm using an acrylic cement. These boxes were transparent, so I was as careful as possible placing the glue. Any mistakes or smudges will be really obvious in the finished product. It's really not the easiest glue to work with, but it does the trick. 
Off camera, I ended up making a few more boxes with slightly different dimensions. I put masks in the left side compartments and stuffed the top compartments with rubber gloves. I figured a fully stocked box would make a great gift to give my family members, so I knew their households had the supplies they needed to be safe when they go out. And that's the first project on the laser. It was a small project because we wanted to primarily focus on making sure that we had it calibrated right and that we were going to be using it safely. Mm -hmm. If you want to try this at home, it's a great little quarantine project. We're making the files available for free. The link will be down in the description, so go check that out. I used acrylic because I had acrylic, but you can easily make this out of wood or any material that is one eighth inch thick. I'm Michael, this is Maker's Workshop. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and click subscribe.